Well, hello. So you know how every YouTube video starts with, everyone's been asking me, yada, yada, yada. And then they go on to tell you whatever they're going to tell you anyways. Well, this time it's finally true. Everyone has been asking me, where did you get your tent walls? And I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know. So you have to understand, most of you have seen my art videos where I teach you how to set up an art booth and why to set up an art booth and how to make money at an art booth. But when you went to ask me how to find the art booth set up, I didn't have an answer. But that's because I got my booth from another artist and he didn't remember where he got his tent from. And so I had no answers for anyone. And so it was kind of embarrassing. So I scoured the internet and I found two sites that have tents just like mine. Oh, by the way, as standard YouTube protocol goes, if you're new here, like, subscribe, hit the bell, all those things, uh, because, you know, maybe you like marketing inspiration and being a creative entrepreneur and you want to create the life that you love. OK, so now that we've got that out of the way, first things first, which kind of art walls should you have? Well, it depends if your art is small or large. I used this type of tent was it was portable. It uh, seemed fairly quick to put up. It was easy to hang. If I wanted to move something here, move something there, it was easy peasy as pie. Now, the larger, heavier glass frames were a bit of an issue of them leaning forward from the tent due to their weight. Um, so I would recommend this for a smaller, lighter art, but it would still work for some pieces. You know, it worked for my six foot pieces. So if something light and portable sounds right up your alley, then this may be for you. If you're looking for something thick and sturdy, it's going to stand the test of time and, do you know, it's just really... Well, that's not in this video, so um, I'm sure they're out there. Go find your own link. But if you're looking for mesh walls like mine, click the link in the description. There are a couple links down there. I also gave you the link to the little curtain hook, which, by the way, before I knew what that was called, was quite hard to find. Uh, I actually had to use a little thing called Google Lens. It used to be called Google Goggles. And then I took a picture of it and I went like this and then I said, find it. And it found it. And then I found it on Amazon. And now the link is in there for you. So, um, yes, that was a little bit of a difficult thing. And I used the old noggin and found it just for you. Now, if you use the links below, these two were recommended by a local artist in Winter Park who personally used the Flourish brand for 25 years. Now, she has decided to switch to the Light Dome because it is a strong mesh that uses curtain hooks um, that hangs the paintings just like the others. However, it is a lighter weight setup. So she so far has recommended both. Um, they look just like mine. Slight little slight differences you'll see at the bottom. But um, I think that you should look between these two, decide what is best for you. And if it's not, then I'm sorry, but at least this answers the, the grand old question of where did I get the tent? So we finally know where you can get your art booth. Next question is how to display your art. If you haven't already watched, check out one of these videos where I do talk about how you're going to set up your art and what you should bring and has a full list. Uh, you can also join my Art Biz Secrets Facebook group. The link is also below, just, just all where all the links live, you know, it's below in the description, uh, as they say. And um, I hope that answers all your questions. Actually, no, I hope it doesn't. Put some more questions below so I can make some more videos. Not off for now. Actually, no, no, no. Go, go watch. Go watch one of these. I think you'll like it. Maybe this one, or maybe this one, or, you know, just, just click around. You'll find some more. So appreciate you all, and um, cheers.